glad you could come.
Good morning. morning! Welcome to the 21st Annual Greek Show. Yay. 21 years. Uh, some of you I recognized over the years. So thank you for coming back. We, uh, for those of you who don't know, we are trying to work through all 33 existing Greek plays uh, without repeating. Every year, somewhere around the summer solstice here on the steps at sunrise, just like the Greeks used to do. We have 12 more to go. So, uh, we are an all-volunteer organization. I would like to thank a couple of our sponsors. Of course, the Nelson Atkins Museum of Art uh, for letting us use this beautiful facility. Uh, and the Aquarius Bookstore, please check them out. Uh, there's a few more listed in the program as well. I'd also personally like to thank uh, Leo Weatherill and the Leco Sound Company uh, for providing the sound this year. Uh, if you ever need sound for a party or a band, uh, he's the person to call. Uh, thank this lovely band over here. Progresso, Brad Palmer, Brad Cox. So blessed to have them. They're very talented musicians. Uh, the show runs just a little over an hour, uh, and uh, there is no intermission. It's straight through. Uh, restrooms are across the street, courtesy of the Shakespeare Festival. Uh, and sit back, enjoy the show, and we'll see you in a little ba in about an hour. Thank you.
countries of hope. Pick the smallest pond of green. Quickly to fly through the sea. A fine anchor at Argos, which we boast to stay. By breathing crest of Zeus on a cow driven wild. With suppliant olive branch, to what kinder land could we turn? Whose sea, whose earth and bright water? Olympian gods, ancient gods below, possessing the tomb. And Zeus, Savior, keeper of pious men, receive respectful the heir of this land, these suppliant maidens well. But that thick swarm of insolent men, before ever landing in this swamp waste, return them and their ships to the sea. And by winter's sting of hurricane, facing the wild sea, by thunder and lightning, by rain winds may they die, before appropriating what law forbids, cousins to lie on unwilling beds. Now I invoke the calf of Zeus Avenger, beyond the sea, a child from grazing, calf, genetrics, held by the breath of Zeus, born with the faithful name, Epiphus, caress. Him I invoke, in pastures here our mother suffered before. I'll show a witness, faithful but unexpected to natives here. They shall know the truth, and the last in the And if some neighbor here knows for cries, hearing our bitter passion, he may think he hears the hawk chase sad bird Metis, the wife of Tereus, who weeps with passion, far from rivers and the countryside, who sang a child's death dirge, whom she killed, perverse her wrath. Thus melancholy, I with Ionian songs, eat my now soft cheek, my heart unused to tears. Gracious to 
sharp winds. The Zeus, and injustice, haste and sun begotten, and that is unjust. Face now averted, away from my prayers. But would that Zeus hearken? O oh, Zeus, sought out by the gods, by snake hate of Io, I know Hera's madness conquering all. Winter comes by sharp winds. nor yet a laggard be in speech, either would offend them. Remember to yield, for you're a needy stranger, an exile, and rashness never suits the weaker. With prudence, Father, you speak to the prudence. I shall keep watch on your discreet commands. May Zeus, my ancestor, look on us. May he look then with propitious eye. Now when I wish to be near your side. Delay not. O oh, Zeus, compassion ere we die. If Zeus is willing, this will end well. And now that bird of Zeus invoke. Preserving rays of the sun, we call. Call on Apollo, the god who from heaven once fled. So knowing this fate, may he have compassion. Let him be compassionate and defend us with care. What other gods must I invoke? I see this trident, a god symbol. Who brought us here well, may he receive us now well. And that is another, Hermes, a Greek custom. May he be a good herald to those who are free. sacred ground like doves, clustering together, fearing the winged hawks who hatefully pollute their very blood. Bird consumes bird. How could it be pure? How? Brides unwilling, myself unwilling, could they be pure? 
We're not even in hell, where another Zeus among the dead, they say, works out their final punishment. Can flee their guilt of lust! Fix your eye on that in answer, and that victory be with you well. instructed, 
I should know more clearly how your birth and ancestry is Argyle. Wasn't Io once in Argos charged with Hera's temple? Io was. The tale is prevalent. And wasn't Zeus too mortal joined? Which was from Hera unconceded. How end these royal jealousies? A goddess turned a woman to a cow. And Zeus, did he approach a horned cow? Became a bull, they say. How then did Hera answer? She placed on her a guard, all seen. Who? Argos, a son of Earth, whom Hermes slew. Uh, but what did Hera appoint for Illuminio? A gnat like gold it was, or driving sting. That the Nile dwellers called the gadfly. That drove her from Argos. It, it confirms my tale. tale. to cannabis, and then to Memphis she came. Where Zeus, by touch, begot a son. Who claims to be the calf of Zeus? Epiphus, truly named Caress. And from him? Libya, reaping the greatest name. And then? The last of two sons, my father's father. Tell me his name. <coughs> Danaeus, whose brother fathered 50 sons. Disclose his name ungrudgingly. Egyptus. Now, knowing my ancient lineage, might you succor an archive tribe? You seem to share of old this land. <laughs> but how did you bring yourself to leave your father's home? What fortune did swoop upon you? Lord Pelagius. Shifting on the ills of men, nowhere is trouble seen of the same wing. Who wished for this unexpected flight to land at Argos, formerly natives here, cowering in hate of the marriage bed? Why have you come to these assembled gods? Why do you hold the fresh white olive branch? To be no household slave to a different son. By hatred or by law? Who buys a master from kin? So greater grows the strength of mortals. To desert those distressed is easy. How with piety could I act? Deny the demand of Egyptus' sons. But hard's your demand to wage a new war. But justice protects her allies. If only she shared from the start. Respect the ship of state thus crowned. I shudder before these shaded altars. Yet hard is the wrath of Zeus the protector. Son of Pelagathon, listen to me with a care of heart, Lord of Pelagians. Protector, behold an exile surrounded. A calf, wool pursued on steep rocks, confides in the herdsman's strength and bleeds for pains. I See this crowd of gods ascending, each shadowed by the fresh-cut olive branch. Yet may this friendship conceal no doom, nor strife for us arise in unexpected and unpremeditated ways. Daughter of Zeus, master of lots, may we hold the flight innocent Venus, and now from the younger, ancient in wisdom, learn. Respecting the suppliant, a holy man. You are not suppliants at my own hearth. If the city stain a common wheel, in common let the people work a cure. But I shall make no promises until I've shared with all the people. sensible to 
should despise these your earnest prayers. I am at a loss, and fearful is my heart to act or not to act and choose success. Regard him above, the protector, watchdog of men, distressed who sit at thy neighboring hearth but obtain no lawful justice. Yet anger of Zeus the suppliant remains, who is charmed by no pity. If Egyptus' sons rule you by custom, native to your city, claiming nearest of kin, who would wish in that to oppose them? According to the laws at home, you must plead how over you they lack authority. Yet subject to men would I never be! Never! I, I plot my course under the stars and escape from a heartless marriage. Take as an ally justice. Choose the side of the gods. The choice is not easy. Choose me not as judge. I said before that never would I act alone apart from the people, though I am Lord. So never may people say, if evil comes, respecting aliens, the city you destroy. Both sides he surveys, of related blood, Zeus is impartial his scales. To the evil and lawful weighs out, the holy and unjust fairly. Why fear to act justly? We need profound, preserving care that plunges like a diver deep in troubled seas, keen and unblurred his eye, to make the end without disaster for us and for the city, that neither strife shall bring reprisals, nor if we should give you back, seated thus on seats of gods, we settle the god. Destructive Alistair in this land, who even in Hades never frees the dead. Seem we not to need preserving counsel? Take care and be justly the pious protector. Exile betray not, exile sent by, cast out by the godless. See me not seized, from seed of gods to be seized, O Lord with full power. Know the pride of men, beware of God's anger. Bear not to see a suppliant by force, led from these statues, seized by my garments, like a horse by the bridle. Do what you will, thy house remains to pay. Find in thy children, justice is equal. Mark the justice of Zeus! I have pondered, and here I'm run aground. Against you or them, necessity is strength. For mighty war, as fastly drawn as ships held by the windlass. Yet, anchorage is never free from pain. When wealth is sacked and homes are pillaged, Zeus, yet another fortune may bestow. Or, when the tongue has failed, a healing word may spread a counterbalance. But, if consanguine blood is to stay unshed, we must sacrifice to slaughter many kinds to many gods, a cure of grief. I am spent by this dispute and wish an ignorance more than art of ill. Against my judgment, may it turn out well. But hear the end of my reverent prayers. Well? Class and bells and bands I have. They are doubtless proper for women. Here you go, go our fine devices. devices. Tell me. Unless you promise. But what keep... would your bands accomplish? Statues with new tablets to adorn. Speak simply. From these guards to hang. A whip to the heart. Now you understand. For eyes I gave you. Alas, everywhere I'm gripped in stranglehold. And like a swollen river, 
whatever evil strut. Nowhere is there anchorage. If, if I fail to heed this thing, you have warned that pollution shall strike unerringly. But if I stand before these walls and bring the battle to the Egyptus' sons to the very end, wouldn't that become a bitter waste? Men to bleed the earth for women's sake? Yet the wrath of Zeus the suppliant the height of mortal fear must be respected. Now then, aged father of the <coughs> gather these wreaths in your arms, and at the altars of the other gods, replace them. Then, no one of the native people who delight in blame seeing proof of your arrival could reproach me. And pity they may have for you. And hate those men's arrogance. May the people be gracious. Everyone to those weaker than themselves is mine. To have found a stranger Reverend and kind, we highly prize. And now, let native guides to grant me safety as I go, escort me to temple altars. Nature hath made my shape unlike to yours, even as the Nile and the Inicus bear no resemblance in their nurture. Beware, lest rashness virgin interfere, for ignorance has often killed a friend. Guard, the stranger speaks well. Guide him to the civil altars, the seats of gods, and say no more than this to whom you meet. To the god's heart we pray. Speak auspiciously. You know how fear does fret impatiently. Excessive fear is always powerless. Soothe it by heart and word and deed. Your father will not long desert you, and I, assembling all the native people, shall make the commons well disposed, and teach your father all that he must say. Now, remain here, and beseech the native gods with your prayers to bring you what you desire. I shall go, arranging aught. May persuasion and fortune attend me.
Lord of Lords, most blessed, most perfect strength of blessed, happy Zeus, obey and let it be. Remove the pride of men, pride well hated, and cast in a purpled sea the black benched doom. Look upon our race, ancient of ancestors' love. Change to a happy tale, favoring us. Remember many things you touched, Io. We claim it is descent from Zeus, a birth from this land. To my mother's ancient track I served. In a rich pasture eating flowers, she was seen. When Io, by death by rage, distraught to escape. convinced by supple rhetoric 
but Zeus still crowned the end. Come then, let us offer for the archives good prayers in return for good things. And may Zeus, stranger behold, out of the mouth of a stranger, offerings in true frankness, a perfect end for all things. And now Zeus, for God's, might you hear our prayers when libations we pour? Never slain by fire these plagued in land, never won war, found a dance to spread, harvesting mortals in a changed harvest. For, for compassion, compassion they showed us. And voted with kindness, respecting Zeus's suppliants, this wretched flock of sheep. Nor cast they the, their votes on the side of men by dishonoring us, watching Zeus avenger. Like, like a spy he sees. Who is hard to fight? Who desires his home stained in its rafters? For he heavily presses. shall come when all 
who had dishonored the gods shall pay. Father, I, I, I fear as the ships, ships come, come, no length of time, time does stand between us. us. Terror holds me, excessive fear, in flies of wandering profit not. Father, I am spent by fear. As final was the Argive vote, my daughters, take heart, they shall fight for you. I know! Mad is the race Egyptian cursed, in war unsated. I speak what you know. Dark ships they have, and strongly built. They sail, and so succeed in anger, with an army large and dark. Well, many shall they find here, whose limbs the sons may leave in noonday heat. Leave us not behind alone, Father, I pray. Women are nothing alone. No Aries is in them. Deadly purpose and crafty minds in impure hearts, just as ravens, they hate no altar. Well, that would aid us, if to the gods, as to you, my daughters, they are hateful. They fear not these tridents. No, oh, gods, their hands, they shall not have heat for me, Father. Arrogant with unholy rage, gluttonous, dog-hearted, obeying in nothing the gods. A fable tells that wolves possess more strength than dogs, and reeds cannot conquer wheat. We must guard ourselves against the rage of wanton men, monstrous and profane. The reefing of a sail is never swift, nor is the anchoring with ropes to be secure. And even safe at anchorage, the helmsman lacks courage. And mostly winds come to harborless shores, and the sun has sneaked away tonight. It breeds in prudent pilots, paid as sharp as birth itself. Nor would a host find landing easy before each ship takes courage in her moorings. But you must, fearful at heart, Pay heed to the gods, while I, bringing aid, shall return. An aged messenger, the city cannot blame, youthful in eloquence. Zeus, hold the beam of the balance. 
Woe without you is brought to completion for men. Hey, 